Hey guys, Small Kiwi from FPS General here, and I thought I'd make something to celebrate the impending release of Aliens Colonial Marines. Now before I go any further, please don't worry, I won't be spoiling anything about the story of the new game, because I don't know anything about the story. So the Aliens franchise has had a long history in video games, starting 31 years ago in 1982 with the release of Alien for the Atari 2600. 31 years of Alien video games is pretty amazing. 31 years of video games in general is amazing. I consider myself lucky to have lived through the majority of all video game releases in my lifetime, but clearly the best is still yet to come. The first of what I'd call the modern Aliens universe games, and the one you're looking at now, was Aliens vs Predator, which came out in 1999 and was honestly a pretty incredible game for its time. I mean, this is a game that came out the same year we got Donkey Kong 64 and EverQuest. So you can see that the gameplay concepts they pioneered with AVP were pretty groundbreaking. Interesting point, AVP 1 was produced by Rebellion Developments, the same studio that brought us Sniper Elite V2 last year. In 2001 we got the second of the modern AVP games in Alien vs Predator 2, this time produced by Monolith Productions who have more recently been working on titles like Fear and Gotham City Imposters. AVP 2, or specifically one part of it, really stands out in my mind as a leap forward in video game storytelling, when players were given the opportunity to play the life cycle of an alien, first as a facehugger searching for a victim to impregnate, then in this famous scene as a chestburster, uh, exiting from its host and looking for food needed to grow. Both of these games did an excellent job of differentiating the styles of each playable race, but for me, nothing can compare to the tense and often terrifying marine gameplay, something Rebellion Developments was able to recapture when they created the latest game in the series, Alien vs Predator, in 2010. Obviously all the games owe a lot to their source material, because the aliens are an inspired and terrifying design, and the motion tracker was and is a brilliant device for conveying tension and fear in a really simple way. I'd like to shake the hand of the guy who came up with the sound, because I'm pretty sure I've had nightmares where I could hear nothing but the beep of the motion tracker and my own screams. Now finally we come back to Aliens Colonial Marines, which comes out on February 12th. This game looks to be exactly like what I've been looking for. It's got a drop in drop out multiplayer feature, and you play as part of a squad of marines. From the gameplay I've seen, it's almost as if Gearbox have taken the formula from co-op survival shooter games like Left 4 Dead which seems like a perfect fit to me, especially with Predators presumably being out of the picture. I'm really looking forward to fending off hordes of aliens with a group of friends, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little concerned that it might lessen the tension and fear having a bunch of people along for the ride, but I guess we'll just have to play it and find out. Anyways, that does it for this Aliens Retrospective. If you liked the video, you should subscribe to us here at FPS General and like the video down below. I'd love to hear from you guys what you're looking forward to in Colonial Marines, or which of the past games were your favorites, so hit up the comments section below. You can click on any of the video thumbnails here to check out our other content, and don't forget to check out the website. Once again, for FPSGeneral.com, my name is Small Kiwi. thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.